Alright guys, I'm going to show you how to AOB or the rate of bite flash games on Neopets using Google Chrome. Now to start with, you'll need four things. You'll need somewhere with your AOB codes. For this one I'm using Wrath's How to AOB Avatars on Neopets. You'll need Cheat Engine, a calculator set into programmer mode. If you don't know how to do that, just click view programmer and you'll need game that you're going to use open so to start with we'll use Mickey Chase 2 first thing you want to do you're going to open up a new tab and go chrome colon memory and you should get this page now what you want to do you want to look for this one here pepper plugin shockwave flash and you want this number next to it. So for me, it's 6620. Don't use that number because it'll be different for everyone and it'll be different every time you use it. So you want to come to your calculator and input that number. So 6620. Don't press equals, just press hex. Value you get 19 DC. You want to find that in Cheat Engine. So you want to open Cheat Engine and go to this little flashing computer and look for it. Look for that number next to a Chrome symbol. So for me it's right here, but other times you may have to scroll a bit. So you go open, where it's got value type here, you want to click on the drop box and change it to array of white. Once you're at this stage, you can close your calculator and your about memory page and come back to your AOB codes. Now to start with we're using Mickey Chase 2. So you've got codes here. So you want to copy this top one, come back to Cheat Engine and input it into this box and press first scan. It's come up with a few values here but some codes only come up with one, others come up with multiples. So you want to double click each of these, come back to your codes and copy the second one. We'll be changing the first one to match the second. Okay, so you want to double click down here on the number. You don't want to click over here because it come up with this box and that's useless for us. So double click on the number and just change each of these values to the second code. Once that's done, you can just come over to your game and start playing. And I'll just give you a demonstration. See, it goes straight through the rednecks. And I'll just play a bit so I can show you the tail. For some reason this is not running overly smooth. And go straight through the tail. The walls do still kill you. Now, I'll show you Carnival of Terror. The difference with Carnival of Terror and Myth Chase is that Carnival of Terror has multiple codes. And for those who don't really know how to use Cheat Engine, this can sometimes confuse them, but it's quite simple. So you just want to delete these out of there. And so we want to copy this first code exactly the same way as we did for Mika Chase. Okay, now once you've done that, it's quite simple. What you want to do is press New Scan, delete what's in the box, and copy this new code in. Okay, now once you've done that, you can go to your game. These codes for Carnival of Terror give you infinite ammo, health, and time. So start game, and you can see the time isn't running out. You can shoot 
as many times as you want and your ammo doesn't run out and just wait for pi to come along and you'll see that it doesn't drain your health this is a good game to go for for a trophy off the avatar because there's no wait time and you can rack up your score quite quite quickly alright I just paused it there till a pie came because it was taking a while okay so we just end that and that's pretty much how the AOB flash games for near pets one thing that you have to keep in mind though is under the codes if you use a guide like this it has notes always always read the notes because you'll get some games where you change the speed of the game or you'll change the scoring system such as Corvette Slam and when you get games like this you need to change you need to leave your game window open for a certain amount of time once you've got your score. If you read the notes, it'll always give you a guide as to how long to leave your window open for. Myself, I like to try and keep it as safe as I can. So I'll, I will always go a little bit more than what the guide says. Alright? And that's pretty much it.